I heard you say to my producer, you think your mom needs to grow up. Those are like very specific words. Well, how is she showing you that she still acts like a child? She basically, she doesn't do things a mother's supposed to do. She doesn't, you know, lead us. It's like she's following us, like we're the adults, you know. Mm -hmm. She asks us for things to support her habits. When we don't have it, you know, it's, oh, I hate you. Y'all selfish, you know, stuff like that. So you feel like if she doesn't get what she wants, she says she lashes out? Yes. Okay. Um, tell me about her posts on social me media. Uh, it's a lot. She puts on there, she hates us. We drove her to do drugs. Your mother wrote, I see what my, I see what my trouble has been all these years. Children, I'm telling... I'm telling the whole Florida state I'm gonna make news for real if any one of my daughters raise their hand up to hit me. They all have done some very disrespectful blank to me, tried to act like I am the problem, drove me to drinking, drugging, and prison. Your mother feels as if you all are the issue. Yes. Okay, what is your response to that? Because I see that made you emotional. Yes, it takes a lot. Because we've been dealing with this all our life. She's been in and out of prison all of our life. You know, putting men before us. It's just been so much, you know? So it's just like, I don't even know how to respond to that. It's like I'm immune to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, this is what she say all the time mm -hmm. when we can't be there for her yeah. to support her habits. Like, we're, we're grown. We don't have to do anything for you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your mom's temper. Her temper? Yeah. She has a temper. She gets very angry. Okay. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm innocent. I have said some things that I shouldn't have never said. But as a mom, you, you know, lead me the right way. I didn't have that. Mm. So. Mm. Have you ever told her that? Like you feel like she I hasn't can't, read you? I can't. Because what happens when you try to talk to her? She, she over talks you. You know, she don't want to listen. What happens when you try to express your feelings at all? Does she hear you at all? No. Even when you were a kid, did she hear you? She wasn't really there as a kid. We was always with my aunts. Mm. Like, she was always in prison. The little time we did have, you know, I'm not trying to say she's the worst mom, you know, but it's just like, it's no getting through to her. It's her way or no way. Yeah. You seem like you're being cautious right now. Is it because you know your mom's about to come out? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know your fiance, Will, is here in the audience with us. Will, how you yes. doing? <laughs> Stand up on you, Will. So this is your wife. I know you're at home with her. How is this affecting your wife? Um, it's gotten pretty bad. Yeah. Um, like, when I first met Malika, their relationship was kind of, like, rocky, so I used to always ask her, like, you know, why, why are your relationship so messed up with your mom? You know, why do you do it like that? Mm -hmm. Because, like, like I told... Everybody else, I come from a two-parent household. You know, I'm a mama's boy. I love my mom to death. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Like, so, you know, as, as they would go through certain things, I was just like, you know, don't do your mom like that. You know, give her a chance. You know, let her come. Maybe she'll come around eventually. Like, but, you know, as time got, pe like, kept going past, and I've been with her five years. So, for five years, it just got worse. You know, and, like, it's crazy because when her mom did go to prison last time and I was with her, we had her kids, her mom's kids. Mm -hmm. And like, you praised us. You loved everything we did for your kids. Like, What's interesting is that you actually, from what I just heard, were taking up for the mother, saying, I was, saying please be nicer to her. Please yeah. do these things. Yeah. They I, were like I, I always, this. I've always been on her mom's side since day one. Like, yeah. We actually had a pretty good, like, cool bond before all this stuff started happening. Like, mm. I don't know if she feel like we owe her something or what the case may be, but... Everything yeah. used to be good. Thank you, Will. I appreciate that. Thank you for your perspective. So what do you want from your mom? I want her to learn account accountability. Mm -hmm. I need her to, I mean, I would love an apology. And I, I will give her one as well. I really want my mom to get help. I just don't want nobody to hurt her or her to get hurt, you know, because of anger. Yeah. I really want her to get help. Okay. And me too, you know, because this has affected me a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, listen, I'm here with Malika, who says her mom, Michelle, needs to change her violent behavior. 
before it destroys their family. And I want to hear what Michelle has to say about all of this. Everyone, please welcome Michelle to the show. First of all, I love you. If this building catch on fire, this will be the first one I say. Let me say that I first. I said that too. This is my I, child I and I love, love you. Her. I would and never. And for you, for you, we here in the right spot for me to talk to you. Yes, I deal with a lot of anger issues here. because it didn't start with me. It didn't. So it why, didn't start why, with me. Why is it with your children, but, though? Your children, hold on, you, you said had you your, hate your children. She had her time to talk. Mm -hmm. You said you hate your children, though. What does that come from? I you would never stand on my two feet and talk. tell my kids I hate them. She had her time to talk. Let me hear your Let's perspective. Let's talk. Let me speak. Yes, I would love to hear your perspective. I'm talking to him right now. Okay. That, well, he don't let have me, nothing to do with me and your relationship. He shouldn't even stood up because he already know the issue. What, what's the issue? First off, first off, you know what? What's the issue? I'm going to tell you something. You know why I'm angry? Because I had them. I pushed them out. So we win. owe you something. You owe, you owe me to do right. I'm doing right. This I'm is my accountability to be here. Dead. I'm okay. not doing drugs. I'm doing You right. do drugs. You do drugs. Right now. She me, stole wanna, my wanna, car wanna, as an adult. Oh my God. I, I know you, I know she you stole you my car as an adult. What have you done? Went and Accountability. Up the people. Accountability. Let, let me do this. Because the thing is, Look, if you really want my help, I have to hear her side. So please, tell me your side. First of I all, I got six girls and one son. Split me down in six pieces. I'll be good. Okay? But when you have children, I'm out there fighting battles that's not mine. Because mm -hmm. you want to hang with your kids. Would you hush? Let me, let me hear her. That's your problem. That's your she problem. She got one spanking all her life. And when she stole my car, that was the second one. I never and said 20 I was some a years saint. old. I should have been whooping her. You're very disrespectful. How you him, expect me to respect him, you when you were there? Never there? Never there? Never. I've been to prison. I've been to prison three times. Ask them why. Why? Y'all keep me in I some. You've been in prison before we oh was even my grown. Y'all keep me in some. Well, that was from my sister the first time. Okay, come on now. But the now. second time and the come third on. time, these damn kids out there oh. fighting everybody, particularly her. So now I'm running around with a gun trying to kill everybody about you. Because you don't know Excuse how to me, act and you don't know how it's to... It's no exception things. when guys are beating it, you oh up. Oh, my God. You, why are you hanging Mr. with your Karama. kids anyway? Mr. Karama. Grow up. The police let me come through. They were at the bar fighting. Mm -hmm. Oh my the God, because you your daughter through. that's on drugs listen. jumped on you and I tried to help you. Listen. Let's be real. She don't, she don't want Let's to see a problem. You feel entitled, bro. I feel entitled. You feel how? entitled. How? How I feel entitled? I don't know. You tell me how. I don't know if you noticed, I, I sat quiet here for a very specific reason. Because I, I can tell, I understand, I, I see a lot of the patterns from your own past, the things, I'm listening to language of protection. I'm listening to what you've been doing. Because nah. I want to make sure you know that I'm hearing you, first of all, and that I see you. No, nah, I got to listen. And so I wanted to make sure that you had a point where you didn't feel like you had to defend, defend, defend. That you could just say, this is my piece. This is my story. So do you, you, can, you can acknowledge that you have a temper? Absolutely. I, I want to, because now that I've heard you, I think I can navigate this better with you and Malika. But I have to ask you, if I bring her back out, would you be able to support I ain't finna do nothing to my child. I know you're not. I just want her to see her, I want her to self-reflect. Mm -hmm. I'm not going for anything no more. So are you ready to repair your relationship with her if I can help that? If you can. Yes. But see, I ain't on drugs no more. It's a difference. See, I'm gonna tell you when you're on drugs, you think stupid. But you're clear now. I'm clear now. And see, I'm gonna tell you something. And this is God's honest truth. You can't make me shame, because I do that enough for myself. Mm. Understand me? So ain't no child gonna come in my life and grow up, and I watch you grow up, I know your fears, I know what you're cour courageous in, I know what you're capable of doing to make me feel like garbage. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Because I am who I am. Okay. And yeah. I admit every wrong that I've done. Before I bring your daughter back out here, can I ask you for one thing? I already just, know. Just one thing. Yeah. What's one thing? I ain't finna do that. I, the thing I'm gonna ask you for is can I give you a hug? Oh, yeah, you... That's oh, what I want from you. Though. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you smell so good. Thank you. I Drain up your soup now. <laughs> got me all flushed and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to bring your daughter back out. Well, what you want to do about this situation? You want to keep me mad? Or you want to accept the fact I'm that I'm mad. your mom? And I got to accept the fact that you're my adult daughter. I'm not mad. I'm mad. <laughs> what are you mad, mad about? Express it. I'm mad. Because after all the years you know me, how could you think I'm disloyal? 
I never how thought you, you count, were this How loyal? could you count me out of my solidness, bro? No, ma. Oh, it's man. just some oh, things man. you do. Ain't it, you don't know how to handle things. I never was taught to handle it the right and way. And this is why but, I'm trying to teach you. You know you I can did. learn from your kids, Absolutely. Too. I learn every day from y'all. <laughs> I learn from my son. I'm trying to teach you it's more than places than Clearwater, Florida. Oh, I'm trying baby. to teach you it's more than what you're doing I on a day-to-day -day basis. You talk, Malika, you, you I know, know I've been to places. But it's like, Mom, Listen, you, you are the best, but you let I can't follow come. somebody that's acting blind. No, I'm not blind. I I'm say that, now. that's acting blind. But listen to me. I'm sweating and my nose running and my eyes watering and all kind right. of we stuff, got Lord. We got you, we got you, we got you. I still look me, good. I still look good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Communication. <laughs> well, I don't know how to talk. Yes, you do. You've been I out there talking all day. I have? Yes. <laughs> why you no. brought me way up here? Because yes, you need to get away from Florida, that's why. Yeah, we... <laughs> Well, I don't like what's going on. Ma, I told you I did what I had to do as a mother. You took her to the doctor for I, real? I got all her paperwork. I you had to violate my daughter. They did. I gave the hospital your number. They say you did not answer. So I think, I think this one, because that's a big piece of contention for y'all. I think when y'all get home, show her that her, her grandbaby is protected. That's what she just needs to know. Show her. Say, look, I took the doctor. These are things. Because then that absolves this relationship and this, this chaos that y'all got going on there. I it really was, it just to got too here. far gone. I need it to stop from when we go home. I don't want this just because it's here. I don't want, I, I want it to go with us. So I peace. told them Listen, that. Your mother, she, she said earlier that she only feels like you say you love her when you need something. You don't need anything right now. Can you tell your daughter I love her? I love, love you. I love you too, Mom. I always loved you. Look, I just look, I'm, I'm, I'm not take with it a all step that further. violent stuff. No I'm gonna take it a step further. I need you to know that I love you. Okay? And it scares me when I have to worry about y'all. I can't sleep. I be worried about my children. Okay. I get it. Because I done been their mama and their daddy all their life. Yeah. You've been a fighter your life. You just know how to protect. I love you. I know you do. You just we just got some things, but this it feel good. This all feel good. It really do. Yeah. It really do. It really do. You know I don't mean no harm. I know. I, so I, why you get so uh, Hulk? Well, listen. Because when it come to my grandbaby, you didn't hear. Can you? Can you? I heard you. Mom. So that's why I said you gotta make sure that she knows I your grandbaby's you. safe. She she, she know. know her grandma. She asks just, about her all the time. I, get it. I know. She, I know. She knows. It's clarity. <laughs> my foof. And the, the, the communication has broken down, but I like that we're the start here. I do want to do, can I offer this to you? A little therapy. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Please. Because Sometimes I Sometimes you got to stay angry, be angry a little bit. No, no. I, I think, I think, I think that the I've been anger... quiet all my life. They used to bully me. I I'm going to bring it all out. They I used think... to beat me up growing up, y'all. I know. It ain't serving you no more. You need professional help. Well, they don't bother me no more. I know it don't. And I need some therapy, too. You want that? Because yes. I can get that for you, too. Yeah? Um, you go. You go. You go. I have been working on a lot. So. Well, she says she needs therapy, so she's admitting to it. I think that the love is here. And the fact that you all are willing to get the therapy that you're willing to go. And I want to tell you thank you, Carmo, you're welcome. because you're welcome. You're welcome. a lot of people so brush... Much issues off like this so they'll get it together. Some things, you got to let other people, you got to hear somebody else. Mm -hmm. You got to hear, and I like how you did. I like just the, the, the pleasantness of it. I and you got that. deep down, you got to it. Like, take accountability. I appreciate that. I appreciate and, uh, that. I appreciate that. I know you're like, oh, I ain't taking no accountability. I'm not. Everything they fault, but no. You know, I like how you said it to me. Because some people, they, the way they say things, and that's a part of my problem, yeah. too, mm -hmm. is how you, how you say things. I get it. And you use the same tone. You might be mad and still have the same tone. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Listen, I'm just happy that I could be here to support y'all. I really do think y'all are great, a great, great women. And I think that there's just been a lot of pain here. I believe in y'all. Can y'all give it up for them for the work they just did? Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? 
I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.